I'm Gregory Iron. This is Atticus Coger. And what's your name again? Alley Cat. Alley Cat. Alley Cat. We're sitting together to watch a match together like good friends would. And today, you look really excited. I am excited. What are you eating? Um, Lindy's. Okay. It doesn't seem like something scary man like you would eat. You're going to have to blur that out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm having Atticus Goger pick a match, one of his favorite matches, a match that is near and dear to my heart. And Atticus, what match did you choose? Kane versus Shane McMahon at Survivor Series 2003. I didn't know we were watching more than one match. Oh, well, we're going to watch it. <laughs> we got to watch your match too, which means it's another video. Is that a problem? No, no I just didn't know. I didn't know. All right. So why did you pick Survivor Series 2003? Um, this was a match that... I watched almost every day as a child. Every day? Uh, every day after school. Okay. Or sometimes I would skip school and stay home. <laughs> to watch and it. And watch it. I'd get caught watching it. Okay. And um, I'd be sent to my room with just, I guess, the case and, and the disc of mm -hmm. this DVD. I mean, I can even, like, name the matches in order that's on the back. And then you, like, look it up and confirm it. I could do that. I'll I have my laptop. I'll do it right now. Okay. So, all right. Wait, wait. Don't do it yet. We'll do it as we're watching. Okay. Fair. But uh, fair. okay. So this took place on November 16, 2003, and uh, this is the ambulance match between Kane and Shane McMahon. So that's the set the stage. And if you're going to watch along with us, it's going to be 36 minutes and 22 seconds. That's so we can watch the video package as well. So please, uh, you know, mute your WWE network. And uh, when I say play, we're going to play. I'm assuming you already fired up the WWE network. So. One, two, three, play. All right, there's. This is the volume. We we don't we don't have volume, so people can watch along with us. Oh. The, the, <laughs> the volume is the words on the screen. Yeah, I, I put I put up the closed caption. Oh no! Come on. What? Do you do you want volume? Yeah, because then they'll mute it at home. Because they'll be listening to our audio. Oh, I mean, okay, I can. I but feel so, like that makes sense. Right. If, if they're supposed to watch along with us and then hear our commentary. That's fine. I the, feel like we should have the audio then. That's fine. We can turn up just a oh, little. Oh, fuck! Okay, yeah. Now, see, <laughs> uh, if you're watching the video package right now, you just saw Kane, Tombstone, Linda. Now, what you don't know, probably, what you don't remember is they did that camera angle very poorly live. And you could clearly see that Linda's head was nowhere near hitting the ramp. Oh, I mean, it was pretty good right there. Well, they, because they switched the angle. So now Shane McMahon's back with a vengeance. And uh, the volume's going to get loud here for a second while I slowly turn it down so we can hear it a little bit. Okay. I had to film something like that. Wait, a limo crashing into something? No, I was I was there when they did that ambulance, that Roman and uh, Braun Strowman thing. Okay. Dude, it took forever. How, like how 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 long is forever? We got there at like seven and we left I think at like four a.m. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Now, do you, do you remember watching any of the build up to this Atticus? Um, not really. I remember always watching this video package, so I feel like I watched the build-up, but I probably didn't actually watch the build-up. I mean, they did a lot of crazy stuff. They, they did the thing where, obviously, you see they go in the flaming dumpster, Shane jumps off the fucking Titan Tron at Unforgiven the uh, two months prior. Um, it was a crazy feud, and if I remember correctly, this match is pretty insane. Yeah. Um, so, as they're setting up the ambulance here and we're getting ready for the entrances, and there's also a Buried Alive match. There is a, the, the main event is Vince versus uh, is, Undertaker. Uh, okay. A stacked card. So American Badass, his last match. Oh, it's this one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was it's a good this setup. One. He always talks about this. It, it was a great setup. All the time. It was a great setup um, for the return of the Dead Man Undertaker. Okay, so this is, uh, like I said, the 17th Survivor Series. And uh, it was actually a pretty stacked card. One of my favorite Survivor Series matches of all time is on this card. And we're going to see without looking at the run sheet here if Atticus can do as he claims as Kane is making his way to the ring and he's still wearing a towel on his head. Um, if he can name the whole match card from the top. Okay. Uh, we're not going to count, we're not going to count, uh, I believe the first match is Sunday Night Heat, which is uh, well, Tajiri versus... I remember uh, the way it was 
typed out on the on the back of the disc. Okay, so so go look, so, go and, Google a photo of that okay, thing, Greg. But just to clarify, there was a Sunday Night Heat match: Tajiri versus Jamie Noble for the uh, cruiserweight championship. Four minutes, yeah. thirteen seconds. What's the uh, back of the disc look like? Um, so the back of the disc has Triple H on the back, and uh, he's in his like biker tights. Okay. And he's doing like an elbow drop, mm -hmm. I think to Goldberg. Yeah. And um, the first match is listed as the World Heavyweight Championship match, which I think was, was it the main event of this pay-per-view? Uh, I think I think the Buried Alive match okay. the show. So I don't I don't necessarily remember everyone in the matches, but it was. World Heavyweight Championship match, Buried Alive match, the match we're currently watching, the Raw Survivor Series tag match, the SmackDown Survivor Series tag match, um, um, the Women's Championship match. What's the Women's Championship match? Oh. I don't know. Come on, man. He doesn't care about women's wrestling. That's oh, not, that's oh kind of, wow, that's sexiest pig. That's not true. Ridiculous. What say all the bad stuff that he said about women's wrestling. He just doesn't want every time I swear to God, every time it's on the TV, he's busy. <laughs> okay. He's busy doing something. That's, that's or not he's true. like he falls asleep or he walks out the room or something. Or... That's not true. She just puts on her matches, that's why I do that. <laughs> Besides uh Hell you. Oh my god. Oh, oh, hey, what? What what is that we need test? to acknowledge the fact that what? uh Shane McMahon clotheslined Kane out of the ring and Kane literally like landed on his head. Well, I want to know why I, I, he I was using that chair and the chair was not budging or moving or bending, but the stairs were. Well, I'm scared. I mean, they're going to do some crazy Gym shit. Now, let, let me ask you something. Explain to me Kane's haircut at this time. Because I never understood why he just shaved the front of his head as he's getting blasted with a TV monitor. Um, I never understood it either, but... Oh, that was sick. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, I, now I remember yeah. that. that. They just showed sick. an instant replay if you guys were that watching. That was a crossbody. That was not a freaking clothesline. Yeah, Kane actually just talked about that on something, right? Yeah. Like, uh, an untold it was, or something? It was the, I think it was the Austin podcast. Okay, yeah, yeah, he almost died right on that. Okay, typical uh, Shane McMahon, not much has changed over the last two decades. Except for that hop up onto the rope. He's not getting on the top <laughs> rope like that anymore. I love it. Big yes. elbow! Take it home. That was great. Spot on. You okay, brother? Yeah, that was really, that was really <laughs> cute of them. I'm going to do pants like Kane's wearing. Are you? Yeah, For real? like tribute pants. Explain to me the haircut, though. Does, does anyone have a rationale for that? Because uh, I tried to, to justify it, it as... Uh, his, the front of his face was burned. Right, but like, but then they come out and say the, the scars were, were, were all in his mind. So, yeah. are we still counting that he burnt the front of his hair? And then also, why can't you just shave the rest of your head, dude? Am I right here? Yeah. I mean, just shave your fucking head. Yeah, I was never a big fan of it. I just kind of assumed that his hairline was just really, really bad. Okay. But I was also really young. Yeah, you were so. like, what, five years old? Yeah, what was this, 2003? Yeah, November yeah. 2003. Yep. That's insane. God bless. Five years old. Yeah. This is like peak fandom for me, this period of time. And it's like a different time period in WWE too. Like we're transitioning out of the Attitude Era. Yeah. Allie, were you watching around this time? No, I wasn't watching anymore. Because I, this is 2003, so I've moved away. I've moved and I've started at a new school where... The friend that I watched wrestling with, I don't go to school with her anymore. Okay. So like, I don't see her or go to her house anymore because I don't live there. Have you watched this match? No. Do you remember this feud at all? Mm -mm. It was It was pretty crazy. It was literally like I watched like, the Attitude Era and then when it started to fall out of that is when I... Oh! oh! I wasn't watching anymore. Oh, uh, kendo stick to the back of the leg. That's like literally the worst spot that you did with a kendo stick. I feel like she didn't start watching wrestling till really late because when I got that match with Trevor Murdoch at Limitless, she was unaware that 
Trevor Murdoch was even in WWE. I said, I said, how do you know who Trevor Murdoch is? She's like, NWA. <laughs> so. Everybody's gonna hate me when they see this. That's great. Everybody's gonna literally unbook me after that. Thanks. Shane is now in a vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Just backed up into Kane. I, I can't. I don't even remember that. I don't know if they filmed it like we did, but like when. What? No, I I feel like they did all this live. <laughs> well, th this there's no way they did this part live. You don't think so? No, because all that stuff they did like backstage that we filmed was filmed the night before because they literally staged it over and over and over again. They literally went over it over and over and over again to make sure they got the shot completely how they wanted it. I think it was live. I feel like, I feel like was this live. was a different time period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I feel like they did this live. I don't like, want to believe that this was pre-taped. There's no way. I this mean, was like, definitely pre-taped. Like, he's like, so, Shane's like sweating and shit. Like, yeah, so were Roman and Braun in, there, in my shot. Think about it, though. There was that random camera cut. Why'd yeah, they do that? Exactly. Because it's know? not live. Maybe. I don't know. I feel because like. they they like this is like it's a stunt and they want to they have one take to get the stunt right because they're not going to just keep sweeping the glass and putting the glass back and like getting a new car every time so they have to make sure it's right mm -hmm. and also the ambulance went from the fucking stadium to here now oh god shame right into the wall. Besides this match with Shane, is like there another like Shane McMahon match that sticks out to you guys that's like crazy? I mean, I feel like all of his matches were crazy. Yeah. But like, is there, is there oh. one that you like besides this one? See? Um, I like him and uh, Taker, the one that happened recently in the cell. Yeah, I didn't mind that. I always kind of look at um, Kurt Angle, Shane McMahon, because that match is crazy. Mm -hmm. And like, he when he randomly popped up, uh, with a shooting star in that match, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yo, right? Like, I, I had no idea, right? Like, for a guy who's, you know, just supposedly the boss's son, like, Shane's always really busted his ass. Yeah, maybe that was pre-taped with those little cut gimmicks. I never thought about it like that, though. I hate it's, that. I don't want to accept that. It's wild. I hate you right now for making I'm sorry. Me well, it's like, yeah, when, when I had to film it, I was just like, wow, so all these things this whole time happened like the night before. What the fuck? Like, I, like, the only thing that I remember around this time period where I'm like, okay, clearly that's a cut is like on pay per view was, uh, I don't know if you guys watched ever Survivor Series 2000 where. Um, Austin puts Triple H, Triple H is in the car, and then Austin gets the forklift and picks up the car, and then drops Triple H while he's in the car, upside down. Um, <laughs> like, that was clearly a pre-tape. Yeah. You know what I think was the worst, like, camera cut for me, was when uh, Jeff Hardy faced Umaga, and he did that, oh, I think he did like a swan time or something off the top you of the You can't thing. even see him, dude. I think that was at uh, one of the Extreme Rules pay-per-views. I think they just did something like that recently. I think at the the Mania, that where there was no fans, Uso in that last. Oh match. yeah, he when they did the dives. Thing. Yeah, he, he took a fall to the floor, and you don't see him hit the floor. I, I read and they put a crash pad down or something. Good. I mean, there's no point in doing it in front of no one, right? Yeah. He was I've also had... back in the match like two minutes later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the adrenaline to do that with no fans. Is this in Texas? Yes, Dallas, Texas. Fun fact. I had to talk with Snoop Steve Austin about this show because there's a very pivotal match. Hey, don't roll your fucking eyes. Okay? Oh my god. There's a very pivotal match on this show where it's Team Raw, or it's, it's the Raw show doing their uh, Team Bischoff versus Team Austin. Yes. And Austin gives, uh, Austin's team loses in probably my favorite Survivor Series match. And um, Austin cuts this promo, like saying goodbye because his career started in Dallas and it ended in Dallas. And I feel I, I talked to him about the idea that, you know, was that his retirement speech that he never got to give after WrestleMania 19 and he barely remembered <laughs> But he was like, I sound about right. <laughs> so, so there's that. But. That's great. All right, Kane shutting the doors.
I'm old man iron here, so I, I don't want to like mess up a word. That was crazy. Fuck. Like, even though he didn't hit it, that was crazy. Dude, that was a sick reversal. Oh. Boom. Shane with the rock DDT there. Not as slick as the rock, but still good. Hell yeah, the American Airlines Center. Let's go. I've been there plenty of times. Yeah? What, what's uh, the most memorable event you went to? At Lady Canada? Gaga. Wrestling event, huh? Oh. Come on. I mean, Lady. I respect for Lady Gaga. Lady, the Lady Gaga is about right here. Then, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> Shane almost lost the shit there. <laughs> After a garbage can shot right to the dome, can't do that anymore. Oh my. King's taking. Oh, it's right on his leg. King's taking so many shots to the head in this match. Like even when he got hit in the head with the ambulance door. Yeah. He didn't put his hands up or anything. Mm -hmm. Different time. You're a bitch if you put your hands up. Yeah. <laughs> you better get that CTE. All right, best wrestling show you've been Oh, to. I got to go to the, the Raw and the SmackDown after the uh, Mania, the last Mania in Texas. Uh, that was 32. 32. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why didn't you just go to WrestleMania? Well, I was an, I was an extra at this the Raw and SmackDown. Oh! That was beautiful. That box only existed for Shane to do yeah. that spot. <laughs> that was sick. It's funny because well, like Shane, I, I feel like Shane had a habit of like putting in random things you would never see in other matches just so he could do ridiculous shit. Is that just like a cardboard box? That that, looks... That's literally all it looks like. It's just like something that he can, I mean, I'm sure there's something in there. That he I, would say, so. I feel like that would still hurt. Dude, well, when he first pulled it off and like dropped it on Kane's leg, I was like, Jesus Christ. But now I see that it's very light and hollow. Uh, my man literally just took that. Like when he did the, uh, did you guys ever watch the Kurt Angle Shane McMahon match? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when he does the shooting star, if you guys remember, oh. or I don't, I don't remember if he does it off a platform. I know they do the finish off the platform, but they have a wooden plank that they put on the top turnbuckle, specifically to do spots off of, which I always I don't found remember weird. that. Yeah, like that CZW thing. Yeah. Like they, it when was that dude did that like Styles Clash. I don't remember. They literally, yeah, pretty they, much. Shane and Kurt just literally put a board across the top rope. <laughs> Which was wild, so they could do the angle slam. Love it. Oh, fuck! Is your camera inside the ambulance? I don't think no, so. No, no, thank God. Because I hate when they do that shit. No yeah. way, it was cool. I mean, I guess in this instant, I guess I would be okay with it. Because, yeah. like, obviously they know there's going to be a match occurring. But I hate when like there's a camera in the vehicle, like like for example when they did the um, the Rock Hogan ambulance bullshit with the semi, yeah. and then for years they would always show that camera shot where yeah. there's clearly a camera in the ambulance. Like they just knew it was gonna get smashed. There's one I remember watching where like it's like a camera and like someone's driving off, and then it's like the camera showing them driving off inside the car, and the person like climbs from the back to them to the front. I don't, I just know I have a memory of some match like that. I don't know. Drop a comment below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure. The, Is this the, YouTube? I don't know. The, uh, the, I think this will be Patreon. I'll put some clips up, but it's going to be Patreon, basically. Oh, so drop a comment below if you know what I'm talking about. I, the only one that I can accept where there was a, a, a uh, camera in the car was when Stephanie was like, thought she was uh, going to be okay after the end of that Backlash pay-per-view and Undertaker was in the front. And he goes, where to, Stephanie? Like, that's the, that's yeah. the only one I ex <laughs> Didn't you do that with Teddy Long, too? Years later, yeah, and, like, yeah. The, the car started, like, filling with smoke. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, that, that one I don't like. But, it's but, so bad, but it's, it's so good. Yeah. I wonder why Look. Kane, anytime mm. he did the cutthroat thing, he always had his first finger out. Fuck. Maybe he wanted to. But make anytime it. Taker did it, it was, was his thumb. thumb. Maybe I don't know. That's a, that's a good point. Well, he's got a you know different the significance of it. Hmm. You don't kick out of this I one, but you do kick out of this one. <laughs> when I saw that, like he first started doing it, he used know. to move his first finger, almost like scissors when he was doing it. Yeah. But then he stopped moving his fingers like that. Oh no, that's it. That's the match. That's pretty cool, man. Tombstone on the concrete. I mean, that's got to do it, right? That's yeah. pretty cool. It's got to come out later in the night, too. It's true. 
Screw up the Undertaker. Give us back the old Undertaker. Fuck the old Undertaker. I mean, that was a crazy match. I wait, like why, 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 why? I like American Badass, man. Well, I, I feel like, I, I mean, American Badass is cool now. Like, I think it was time to bring it back, but I mean, don't say fuck the old Undertaker. That now was... people are going to hate you. For sure. I'm making sure Biker Taker the... overall, and I'm not going to get hate for that. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite Biker Taker match? Dude, it's an aesthetic thing. Oh, okay, okay, that's what I. Thought. Ricky Starks is my best friend. I don't have to answer any of these questions. He'll answer them for me. It's bullshit. Oh, okay. it's bullshit. Well, there goes the ambulance. Oh. Drop a comment below for your favorite Ricky Starks match. <laughs> what? No, drop a comment below and talk shit to Allison for disrespecting the good name of the old Undertaker. Name his last five albums. That's what you just did to me. We just asked for one album. <laughs> Like, literally, like, he wrestled... Him versus Jeff Hardy. He wrestled through... Oh, yeah, what year did that take place? I don't know. I know the answer. <laughs> oh, my God, Greg, get laid, man. Hey! <laughs> Jesus Christ. 2002 is the answer, and I've had sex plenty of time <laughs> with women. Okay? So. Okay. No one was... Right. Make, just want to make that clear. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a real production. <laughs> Somebody get this fucking yeah. curtain. <laughs> no wonder everything's pre-taped. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely wasn't pre-taped. So get this fucking curtain now. I mean, couldn't been. They got they have the window shattered and everything. Oh Jesus. Wow. He's, he's going to the hospital. I mean, where was shouldn't every match end like this then? Like, shouldn't every match be like, all right, let's go to the hospital? Well, I mean, not everyone goes to the hospital. I mean, the I idea Kane's is... going to the hospital after this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's watch the replay. Oh, my God. Oh! He almost died. He almost died. He was suspended. I, like, and Shane still got the same old punches. He literally <laughs> was suspended. <laughs> that could have been so freaking Literally bad. almost broke his neck. Amazing. Wow. Oh my god, he took that right to the face! Hell yeah. Is, so is, this is your go-to game match? It's just the one that I remember the most. If you had to pick one better than this, what would you pick? Hmm. Look at that hair, dude. Look at that hair. Look at the cuffs on that shirt. <laughs> you talking about Josh Matthews? <laughs> Look at the fucking collar. <laughs> it's looking good. It's looking very 2003. Oh my god. This wasn't part of the watch along, but I mean, we'll keep going for a second. I don't miss that at all. I didn't tap out, and I didn't lose. You didn't tap out. You're talking to me as if I was the only one out there in that room. That earring, bro. Right? Remind you, Josh. Who would you rather kiss on the lips right now? Would you rather kiss Josh Matthews or Brock Lesnar? Neither of these dudes. Gotta pick one. Josh Matthews because he looks like 18. <laughs> okay, what? She likes, she likes him young. Uh, Please he's, stop. He's made it weird. Literally? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Don't put okay. that in hey, 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 both of you. F Mary Kill. Right now. Goldberg, Brock, Josh Matthews. Pressure's on. I don't know. You gotta, come on. I'd marry Brock so that I can also be married to Sable. S Sable's not part of the deal. No, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Thank you. See? All right, so you got to F1 and you got to kill one. I'd fuck Josh Matthews. I'd fuck Josh Matthews and kill Goldberg. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. I fucking hate Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So went to another... Why do you hate Goldberg so much? I don't know. I'm just saying... Oh, I was real pumped when he came back in 2000. I think he fucking sucked. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's dumb. I just, I don't know. Okay, I just don't like why. him. That's why, here, here comes the coach. I don't know why we're still watching this yeah, right now. Yeah, turn it off. He's got come a neck on. brace on, but like, hey, this was our first watch along. Uh, if it fucking sucked, you know, just, I guess, unsubscribe to the Patreon. If it sucked, then too bad, because we're about to film another one. We're about to film another one, so. We're not going to uh, wait for critique on this first one. Hey, you want to you tell everyone what the next one we're watching is? No, they'll know. Maybe they'll want to watch it. Fuck it. You find the other video and watch it, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Greg. This is Atticus. And this is... Uh, uh, Has more followers than you, Greg uh, Iron. <laughs> unnecessary. All right. Bye.